Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of the unboxing video, a setup video, and a first look video at an iPad Mini 2. This baby here has both Wi-Fi and cellular option. Of course, it's the Space Gray model, 16 gigabytes, and it is said to be a very interesting iPad. It's going to be one of those things that will definitely complement my current editing as well as a mobile type of studio. So of course, uh, taking a tour around the box, you have a wonderful, well, iPad picture. You know, the Apple logo, um, you know what it is, iPad mini. Um, you know, the Apple logo again, and well, iPad mini. Of course, on the back of the, you know, it kind of says what to expect inside the box. You know, the uh, carrier, cellular network, all that good stuff. Pretty much it tells you what's included in there and a few things. Now, taking our first look at our wonderful brand new iPad Mini 2. Of course, still wrapped uh, in the plastic. Lifter out, set her aside. Of course, you got your wonderful, um, you know, tips and guide type of uh, instructions here. You have your, uh, you know, data sync charge uh, cord here. You have a new style uh, power block here. Pretty much, of course, it's got the standard uh, US Canada plug. It just flips on up, plug her on the wall, put your USB cable in there, and then she's good to go. So, of course, we'll set those um, aside for now. So, of course, I'm going to go through some of the specs and features of this here iPad. So, of course, again, um, this is the both Wi-Fi and cellular model. It's space gray in color. The uh, size, of course, is 7.87 inches or 200 millimeters. Width is 5.3 inches or 134.7 millimeters. The depth or, you know, thickness, of course, is 0.28 inches or 7.2 millimeters. And the weight is 0.69 pounds or 312 grams. Of course, the display is a 7.9 inch, of course, diagonal LED backlit multi-touch display with IPS technology. 1024 by 768 resolutions at 163 pixels per inch fingerprint resistant coating it's got a dual core A5 for the chip of course it'll take 1.2 megapixel photos 720p HD video FaceTime video calling over Wi-Fi and cellular of course uh, with the cellular uh, you gotta make sure you have the data plan or else it's gonna cost you it has a face detection feature backside illumination oh tap to control exposure for video or still images and of course it has the option for photo and video geo tagging of course the uh, rear facing camera takes five megapixel photos um, it has autofocus face detection backside illumination five element lens hybrid IR filter of course tap to focus again and tap to control exposure for video or stills and again the uh, video and geo tagging of course it will film 1080p HD video recording it has video stabilization face detection and backside illumination built-in 16.3 watt hour rechargeable lithium polymer battery up to 10 hours of surfing the web on Wi-Fi and watching video or listening to music up to nine hours of surfing the web using uh, your data cellular network charging via power adapter or USB to computer system just like I showed you earlier of course it has the standard lightning connector your standard 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack built-in speaker microphone and takes the nano sim card as well of course, for the sensors, three axis gyro, accelerometer, and ambient light temperature. So, of course, the built in apps uh, basically, the apps that it comes with automatically right out of the box is Safari, Photos, App Store, Maps, Photo Booth, 
reminders, camera, mail, FaceTime, iTunes, music, and clock. As well as calendar, messages, news, stand, game center, contacts, and notes. Of course, the uh, iPad mini here is uh, good for the environment. Apple takes a complete product life cycle approach, determining their environmental impact. iPad mini embodies Apple's continuing environmental progress. It's designed with the following features to reduce the environmental impact. Mercury free LCD display, arsenic free display glass, PVC free and recyclable aluminum enclosure. Well, thanks guys for sitting through all that. Now we'll get to, uh, well, the interesting part. Now, of course, uh, peeling off the uh, plastic here. Pretty much like that. You kind of get a tour of the freshly unwrapped device. It sure looks nice, I will tell you that. Of course, you see the rear camera there. There's the microphone uh, right up in this top of the center bar. Front facing camera, home button. Pretty much think of this as just a oversized iPhone if you'd like to. So of course, uh, pressing the power button. You see uh, it powers on up, shows the wonderful Apple logo. So of course, uh, we'll slide to configure. Now, of course, uh, choose your language. Now, of course, you probably won't be able to see the small print, but you'll kind of get to have an idea of what it all goes through. Of course, select your language. You got everything here from uh, pretty much English all the way down. I'm not 100% sure what all the languages are, but I'm sure um, if you spoke it, you'd recognize what it is. So we'll tap English. And you tap your region, you know, we got United States, um, pretty much everything from uh, A to Z here. Now, of course, I'm in Canada. Now, of course, we choose the wireless network that we're connected to. Now, um, I don't know why, but mine never shows up automatically on the Apple devices. So, of course, we will choose another network. Now I'll enter my network information, passcode, stuff like that, and then come on back. So now it says I uh, could not activate iPad. Your, activate, your iPad could not be activated because the activation server is temporarily unavailable. Try connecting your iPad to iTunes to activate it. Or try again in a couple minutes. If this problem persists, please contact Apple support. So we'll wait a couple minutes and then hit the try again button. So of course, um, you know, a few minutes have passed. It went uh, pretty much on through now. We're good to go. So the next screen here says enable location services. Now it says set up as a new iPad, restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes. So we'll hit restore from iCloud backup. So we'll enter our Apple ID. Again, I'll do this and then come on back. Okay, so the next one here is terms and conditions. You know, pretty much goes on through, tells them all your uh, good stuff and all that. Pretty much if you agree, hit agree. If you disagree, you know, hit disagree. Of course, you got send by email if you want a copy of what you just agreed to. So we'll hit agree. I agree to the iOS, iCloud, and Game Center terms and conditions and the Apple privacy policy. Again, you got cancel or agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Now it says to choose a backup. We have one that was done in February, one that was done today at 2.53 p.m. We'll choose the uh, most recent one because, well, that's going to have all of our data, or at least most of it anyway, and uh, stuff we need. So, of course, we'll tap the one we want to do. So, after you've done the whole backup thing, and basically, you know, set this up according to what you already had, it's got uh, use iCloud or don't use iCloud, so we'll hit use iCloud. Find My iPad is automatically enabled when you use your iCloud. It allows you to locate, lock, and erase your iPad if you ever lose it. 
In addition, your Apple ID password will be required before anyone can erase or reactivate your iPad. You can manage or turn off Find My iPad in iCloud settings. So of course, it will updating iCloud settings, little spinner icon. Create a passcode. A passcode protects your data and is used to unlock your iPad. So of course, um, it's a four digit number. You know, it can be basically anything. Um, you can use your birthday, you can use your house address, you know, your favorite truck. Um, I like to use one that pretty much is not associated with me whatsoever. So it's even that much harder for anybody to I uh, guess or to use or whatever, right? This code is commonly used and can be easily guessed. Of course, um, you know, use code because, well, it's the code that's chosen to use. And then basically it says set up iCloud keychain or set up later. We'll hit later. You got use Siri or don't use Siri. We all know what a Siri is from our other, um, you know, Apple devices. So we'll hit use diagnostics automatically send or don't send diagnostics and usage Of course, you have your standard uh, layout here, you know, your FaceTime, your contacts, your calendar, you know, your clock and all that good stuff. Pretty much, it's a lot similar to other, you know, like I said, Apple devices. They're just a little bit different. It's not 100% the same. It's got a lot of the same features, just things are laid out a little bit different. So, of course, right here, we have a, a software update already for this um, iPad. Of course, that's expected to be uh, a little bit outdated being right out of the box. So um, a lot of us already know how to do the software update. So we'll get it done. Enter, of course, your passcode again, which, of course, a lot of us have done already. And, of course, you got all those wonderful terms of service, agreements, and all that good stuff. Pretty much uh, hit agree if you do, hit disagree if you don't, and then it starts doing its update. So pretty much guys, we'll let this run on through, do its thing, and we'll come on back. Okay guys, so there we go. Uh, of course, I uh, went and did the update, as you've seen there. And basically, um, once I did the update, uh, we got, of course, all the apps coming on in. They're currently, of course, uh, updating or um, downloading, whatever you want to call it, from the iCloud. So, you know, that's pretty sweet, you know, there. Of course, uh, the music is all pretty much here. And, uh, well, the same with the contact list. Uh, it's all there as well. You know, the messages are there, the photos transferred on over, um, including, of course, the updates that were on the other one for the other updates, as well as the missed uh, FaceTime calls, too. So, really, all the notifications, everything transferred on over, just like this was the older generation iPad. So. Um, you know, that's uh, pretty sweet, you know, there. Of course, as long as everything transfers over, it'll be, uh, well, pretty good. It's just a matter of staying connected to the Wi-Fi, and, uh, well, it'll all be good. But, pretty much, guys, this has been an unboxing, a bit of a first look, and a little bit of a light setup on an iPad Mini 2 with Wi-Fi and cellular. And, as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.